Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalian Lost video. Today, the new facility event has already started, and we have news for the next Gala, uh, Gala Dragalia. I should mention there is a very good worm print that gives double buff to crit damage, and you should get it. Are you ever crit? Yeah, it's something with crit. There it is. Dumb. Yeah, get this. Critical damage, double buff. Uh, never thought that they would actually return it because this is a very good worm print that I think is in the Monster Hunter collab. So get it now, what you got. But today's video is going to be talking about the two new units that we got info for, Summer Alex and Gala Reborn Nidhogg. Today's vid that's today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, and watch more of my videos, whatever it may be. Either at Dragalia or, I don't know, I'm playing Paper Mario. Go watch me play Paper Mario. It's really good. If you ever want to see me have vastly changing accent accents anyway so gala reborn nidhogg this was obviously the except for the my video where i said like oh yeah next is gala poseidon right no it's gala reborn nidhogg <laughs> so let's see what he does nidhogg wicked worm of dominion over death itself reborn into a new form freed from the wicked miasma of a maiden's determination he takes a newfound interest in humanity not just in their ends as before but now in their own lives as well so let's see, his skills are Doomsday Eclipse, deals damage to the target and nearby enemies. Enemies in back and break state take reduced damage if the user is targeting an enemy and not using a skill when their remaining shapeshift runs out. Do it again. Damage 300 over 8 hits. Uh, damage mold modifier minus 70% against foes in break state. That means he's about to do a, uh, just a shit ton of damage. Shadow strength 70%. If the shadow is if the shadow is attuned, if the user is attuned to shadow, increase strength by 70%. And shadow throws of eternity too. If the user is attuned to shadow, adds 30% to the modifier applied to damage against light attuned enemies and and light attuned enemies and enemies with no attunement for 45 seconds every time. The dragon gauge fills by 10%. This increase will not stack, and after activating this ability, will not activate again for five seconds. And that's a Gala Reborn Hidden Nidhogg. So, I think, you know, I'm interested to see how it kind of plays out. I think there's very likely that this is going to be the best um, dragon for Shadow. At least when it comes to... I actually don't remember if this if the Gala dudes are usually immune to Nihility. That's kind of the problem that the Shadow ran into, is that the kitty 100% got neutered by... Uh, by nihility, so it kind of made them not as not. I don't know if not as good as the right. You couldn't use them in everything, uh, so it ended up being that Arsene was is currently, I think, the best shadow dragon in the game because Arsene gives you what Kitty gets you, but way easier. I think is the way it goes. I don't know. I know either way. Arsene is currently the best shadow dragon. I, from what I can remember, he's the one I use all the time, so I assume he's the best one. Uh, but he's super limited to Persona only, so if you did not get him during Persona, then you're kind of, uh, so out of luck. So your best shot here is getting Gala Reborn Nidhogg, so... I think he'll work out perfectly good. Gala Agni is extremely powerful and strong, so I'm gonna assume this guy is extremely powerful and strong, because he's the exact same unit, except for now he's Shadow. Alright, that's the Gala Reborn. Now, let's move on to the actual unit everyone came here for. That's right, Summer... It doesn't work because I already showed the artwork. Summer Alex. Mark my words, Elisane, and I will have the best summer ever. Uh, air, air, attired in airy aquatic apparel, Alex sits out for her first ever vacation alongside her dear friend, Elisane. The sun shines at last on the girls once veiled in darkness, lighting the way for her to make irreplaceable summer memories. And of course, she's fire. So, Tropical Snipe. Shareable 7. Deals damage to enemies in a line and lowers their scoring sh resistance. If this skill is used directly after burning bonds, the following variant of the skill will be used instead. Deals damage to enemies in a line, lowers their scoring resistance, and removes score bloom from enemies hit by this attack. The removal of score bloom will count as a buff having been dispelled. Really? Will not count as a buff having been dispelled. Okay. Damage 1,626 over 1 hit, scale energy required 2,560, special effects, score and resistance minus 
After skill change, damage is 2,355 over 1 hits. Skill energy required is the same. When it's a shared skill, you don't get the first ability, you only get this version of it. It's 18,430. Special effects are still the same. So now we have Burning Bonds. Grants the user a strength amp, deals damage to enemies in a line, and applies score bloom. Oh, excuse me, it's the late as hell. When Scorch Bloom is lost, the affected enemy will take damage and be inflicted by Scorch. Scorch Bloom is lost when the remaining time is depleted or may remove from Tropical Snipe skill, but it cannot be removed by attacks or effects that the spell buffs. Damage is 2,065 over 1 hit, skill energy required is 7,140, special effects air Scorch Bloom, which lasts 30 seconds, cannot be reapplied when already applied, I think is what it says here. There's a spider on my screen. Get away. Um, amp strength amp. It's yeah. So there's no limit on this, but based off of the skill energy required, probably doesn't matter. Uh, when Scorch Bloom is lost, his damage is 1,432 over what hit. Edit flick Scorch. Skill haste 15% is her co ability. Chain co ability is flame combo times six. Abilities. Blurry Scorange Engine Sting 2. When combo count is 15 or higher, increase the chance of inflicting Scorange by 50% and its duration by 30%. Sleep Resistance 100%. Strength Amp equals Scorange Edge and Sting 2. When the user has a Strength Amp, increase the chance of inflicting Scorange by 30% and its duration by 30%. Hmm. She seems to be like just a delivery device for Scorange. Uh, she has an amp, but it doesn't seem like it's the greatest amp in the world, is what I'll say. Um, that's my current feeling about that. Uh, but she herself seems pretty solid. I don't know, I like the idea of just an all-focused scoring unit, which was what she seems to be. Resistance is always nice, um, from when you hit that 100%. And she seems to be able to go even crazy below. Um, but again, I don't know exactly how that stuff works, but... She seems like she'd be pretty fun to actually use and play around with. Um, her place on Fire Bow, to be fair, what's her competition? Chelsea is the one that comes to mind, and when I was saying it on stream, the other one that someone reminded me was Gala Cerise, but Gala Cerise has not been really relevant, and doesn't seem like she will be for a very long time. Who knows, maybe the next batch of, uh, of, um... Trials of the Mighty has her in it, but I kind of doubt it at this point. They seem to not want to buff her for some reason. So I think she'll be fine to kind of fill up uh, bows for fire. In terms of pure scoring, it could work out. Yeah, I think she works perfectly fine. I think to summer units kind of come in two flavors. Very interesting kit, or this unit deals a lot of damage. And I feel like most summer units fall into... This unit plays very interestingly, and then the only one that falls into when this person deals a lot of damage is uh, Summer uh, Navid. No, not Summer Navid. Fucking, what's his name? Surfboard. I cannot. Makoto. There you go. Boom. Got it. But yeah, that's today's video. Obviously, Summer Mim is not involved yet, so she's probably being safe for part two. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna summon on this, to be honest. I'm kind of, I'm kind of the mind that I'm not gonna summon on this. I might throw one multi off screen, but uh, I'm not really good. Mm, I'll see on the day, huh? We'll see about then. But until now, until then, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Was that really quick? I forgot to say, you guys, see you in the next adventure. See you guys in the next adventure, huh? You guys have a good day. Be good. Bye.